Hey Fancy Beauty Symbols, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a wig review. This one is going to be by Janet. And this is what the stock card looks like. Okay, there you go, if you could see that. So the color I picked up was a number one. This one was originally $59.99. It was the last one. <laughs> My luck always run that way. So I got it for half off, okay? So let's take a look and see what the specs are because I purchased one, two, three, three different units um, from this beauty supply store. Um, out here in Georgia. And um, so let's see, because some of them she has where they don't have the, the combs on the side. So you can kind of twist it and turn it how, which way you want to. This one, however, is still standard. It does not have a comb in the front of the um, wig does have one in the back and it has two of them on the sides as normal all right you guys so I am back and I went ahead and cut the lace off of the unit and and already adjusted to the size I think I need normally I don't get a, a number one uh, because I feel like it's too dark for my skin but let's see what happens. I actually just fell in love with the style of it and the cut. So let's see, girl. It is super dense. Um, which I really don't have a problem with when it's on the thicker side. And it's real easy to manage. I'm getting a little shedding, but that's probably because I cut some of the strands around the perimeter. So those are just kind of falling off which I'm okay with that. As long as it don't keep doing it. Then I'll be mad. I won't be mad, but I won't wear her no more. <laughs> I won't wear her no more. She's cute though. Look, y'all. No, I'm a um, right side part girl. I don't like, just feel like the part looks better on that side for me. We all got our little preferences. fit. Let's look at the back. Hopefully you guys can see the back. And then this side. This side. Really cute. She is big head friendly, so you don't have to worry about that. This is the the 
that's the what it looks like on the perimeter.
makeup from L'Oreal and it is being promoted and sponsored by uh, Viola Davis, the beautiful, fantastic actor that she is. So I picked up the foundation. Now this foundation is age perfect. All right, so I'm having all kind of problems. <laughs> it's computers today, camera, everything. So I don't know where I left off. So like I said, I'm bringing you this foundation by L'Oreal. Viola Davis is working with L'Oreal to promote this foundation. It has SPF 15 in there. Actually, SPF 50. Pardon me. And then I also picked up the uh, creamy powder foundation. That word creamy is making me a little nervous, but this is what it looks like. You get the mirror and you also get your little compact um, sponge to apply it. This is color 365 and then I picked up also the Age Perfect Concealer and this is in color what is that? 240. I was able to see that without my glasses, girl. Alright, so let's go ahead and get I'll go ahead and start with the um, concealer and I went up I think maybe two or three shades lighter than uh, normal than my normal skin tone complexion color and I'm just gonna put this throughout and see how it does because us mature women we have to watch our skin as well even more so we really have to look out now as I'm shaking this you can hear it so it is liquidy so I'm probably gonna have to work fast with this um, which is probably gonna make me have to change my routine but I'm gonna try do that so let's go ahead and, oh girl maybe this wasn't a good day to film I don't know I wasn't doing nothing all alright so let's put this on well, that's supposed to be our concealer but it's not I mean that's supposed to be our contour but uh, not dark enough so I grabbed the wrong one Ooh, child, we are having major issues today. But that's okay. We still gonna get through it. Alright. So. I'll go ahead and um, blend this out first. I normally like to leave that last, but I don't know how we going that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna get it now. Matter of fact, I have some new sponges on uh, Sonia Kasha. Rip these open use something new and this is what they look like we got gray marble the white marble and then the black marble so I'm gonna go in with this one is more
Now, don't worry about how it all looks. Hopefully this foundation is going to give me the rest of what I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. I was in the store. I was trying to figure out if this was going to be too red for me. Um, I didn't really want to spend the money on the second two, so just to try to get my perfect match. So we just gonna wing it. Ooh. on the red side and you can see it's not a bad match it's not the greatest match either let's see how well it covers it feels good on the skin doesn't feel like a have on foundation you don't need a lot of it either so this is really giving me I don't have a lot of um, marks on my face though so for me it's giving me a medium coverage really nice though it's a nice fragrant it's not overpowering not not perfumey and not that chemical makeup smell either I feel dewy which I'm not a fan of since I already have oily skin and out here in hot Atlanta I uh, want to look like a grease ball by the time I come in from running errands. So we'll see if the powder can fix that. Uh, I feel like I need to go back in with that um, concealer because it looks like everything has just kind of... Mm -hmm. foundation is taking over and just taking everything away so we do want to have some dimension in our face and not just have a one flat surface let's brighten up those eyes All right, now let's try this powder. I'm going to use the sponge that came with. I'm not going to set it with my normal translucent powder and all that stuff. Just so I can get a um, true feel of how this stuff performs. But it looks really good. The finish looks really good. That's flawless, y'all. That is flawless. That looks really nice. Took the shine away. And it set that makeup perfectly.
I feel funny because I'm not going to put on no, um, <laughs> my other stuff. But I will put on my, uh, contour. I have to set that. I think we'll do this one for the blush. This is um, my oldie but goodie sleek. Um, my sleek blush all these years and I still haven't hit pan. <laughs> oh, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. Okay, let's see. Now, now she's not looking so grandma-ish. Full, honey. I'm just like, no, where you going with that? Not outside this house. All right, so let's find our lippy. Uh, initially, I was gonna go with a red. Um, now I don't know. I should get that blush.
All right, Fancy Beauties and Bows, I'm back. And let me say this right off, off the rip. If y'all hear some growling, that, those are my two dogs, my grand dog and my dog. There they go. Macy and Jules, Thelma and Louise. They playing. All right, so anyway, <laughs> two reviews, one video. So first, let's go over this wig, all right? Um, I like her. She's really, really cute. Um, I, I'm not going to lie to you. She is giving me, is she too shiny for one? So, you know, it, it don't really bother me. If uh, folk know this ain't my hair, it's no problem. I don't really care about it. But if you want to fix it, uh, you know, your old school trick is to just go ahead and take some cornstarch, put it in your hand, rub your hands, and then just put it on the fibers of the wig. You could do that. Okay. But like I said, this one is not real bad. It's not real bad for me. All right. So the cut is really nice. She's not high maintenance, which I love. The tangles are minimal. You can just go ahead and run your fingers through like this and just go ahead and um, fix the style back the way you had it. Or even, you know, if, <laughs> if you've been like me, you end up creating a whole new uh, look okay so just depend on how you uh, run your fingers through her it's gonna depend on what she look like when you finish uh, straightening her, her out all right but really nice I like her and um, yeah God would purchase her again you know I wouldn't pay $60 for her I paid the $30 I paid because she was half off I did have to go in as you guys saw and get that part opened up a little bit more I put my concealer in there and uh, you know just did that to give it a little bit more realness to that part area all right now next review is the makeup and this is the L'Oreal H Perfection. Let me get the name right. Hold on. H Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen in there. All right. And I told you guys that it has the SPF 50 in it. I love the way this feels on the skin. I do want to try this without the powder because to me I, you know what it might not even be the powder back up back up it might be this concealer that is giving me the blues because right in here where I put it um, a couple things are ha is happening I'm shining in those areas that I put that concealer and two it could be this foundation because it says serum. Remember I told you I was like, mm, I don't know about that. So I'm, I'm getting the shine face. I got the shine face and I ain't put highlighter the first on, okay? Um, I put it here and I put it here. I haven't touched up anything. As you can see, lips look crazy because I just finished eating. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to have to test. I'm going to test each product separately because I like the way this is performing. I just don't like the way that it looks together, if that makes sense. Because, you know, truth be told, I like to mix and match my products, my makeup products anyway. So, I don't use, you know all L'Oreal and one makeup 
sitting. I don't use, you know, Mac in all one sitting. I mix up those joints just to see, you know, because I like the way things perform on their own or with another product. So as you can see, all I had to do was just go in and dab, dab, dab to get that shine away. But the other thing that I didn't like is the fact that it looked like you could you could tell that I had make that I have makeup on. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let me show you the pictures that I took. And matter of fact, while we're here, let's do a flash test to see. Get flashback. and this is what it looks like see that there so that's what it looks like um, I don't see any flashback uh, actually it's not too bad of a picture only that it's my face in it but other than that <laughs> It's not a bad picture. Um, so I didn't get any flashback, which is good. And um, yeah, I mean, I would I would purchase this again. You know, I, I think this was, it was either $11.99 or $12.99. This powder, I believe it was either $7.99 or $9.99. Because it's been a while since I bought this guys uh, probably like two weeks and I don't know how much this concealer was I don't know what I'm gonna do with this concealer either I might try it again I don't know let me see I think it's just too it's too warm maybe it might be too neutral um, but I will try it again you know I will and if things change I will let you know but um, for the most part I did enjoy the look I would not I didn't do too much today so I would not wear this <laughs> this <laughs> in hot Atlanta in the summertime this I definitely wear this. This will be my cooler months. I will wear this in the cooler months for my foundation. But yeah guys, this is what I think of this product line right here. Um, I'm going to try that uh, serum for you know your skincare. I'm going to try that because I do like L'Oreal. I do. And I'm not one of those that has to have a hundred dollar serum or whatever. I don't need to spend that kind of money because <laughs> if you leave it to me, I'll keep using my Pond's cold cream <laughs> and get my own life, okay? <laughs> Alright, fancy beauty supposed. Let me get off of here. As you can see, I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting back to myself because I'm in the old chitter chatter box is coming back. <laughs> so y'all stay safe, stay prayed up, stay focused on God, stay with me, and stay fancy. Mwah.